What's up, Gyronauts? Tyler with MVP here, and today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the first 12-speed in the MVP lineup and the first Simon Line disc, the Neutron Time Lapse. We are here at Seymour Lake Park, hole 18 from the Yellows, and we're just gonna be kinda starting off with just some nice flat shots with some distance, just to kinda get a feel for what the flight's gonna be. We got some swirling winds, kinda like 10-ish miles an hour, so right now it's going kinda off my right shoulder up to the left. Let's kinda throw it flat. It's nice and stable. The wind is pushing it up there a little bit. Take this other one. Try and get some little flex on this one. There we go. That one flexed a little bit more. Still just nice and stable. It's got a really nice dome on it. So it's gonna have that nice push and glide, but a nice dependable flight. That one was on some hyzer. Still very consistent flights though. Okay, so I mean, we got a pretty good grouping here. They're all pretty close together. Um, this one went the farthest by like five feet probably. This is a really good hole for this type of disc because it's fairly open, so you can get that full flight out of it if you need it. And it's like a 570 foot hole and we're like 150, 175 out. So you can get a lot of distance with this because obviously it's a 12 speed. And with that nice little dome, you can get that pushing glide and it's super reliable. It's not gonna get like, like there's a lot of wind here today so it's not going to get squirrely on you it's not gonna it's not gonna flip over or like fade out too hard on you it's just really nice to kind of stay in the center of the fairway before we continue let's throw it to the lab for a closer look at how the time lapse measures up the neutron time lapse is the mvp family's first 12 speed distance driver and the first disc in the simon line it measures in with a rim width of 22 millimeters depth of 12 millimeters, and has a gentle dome that will provide the optimal hand feel and comfort you're looking for in your go-to driver. The dome gives this disc a high shoulder, but doesn't compromise its integrity by keeping the nose level and the parting line high. This should provide a stable, glidey flight that will finish predictably left every time. All right, now we're here, we've jumped over to hole two on the longs. This is a nice, just 400 foot downhill shot with some water in between you and the basket. This is nice because you've got a couple options. We can go around this side with a hyzer or just kind of straight at it with either a forehand or backhand. I'm gonna try both options. We've got a headwind, so I'm gonna have to put this on some pretty steep hyzer over to the right side here for the first shot. Yanked it a little bit but that should still do the job. Put another one out to the right here on some decent hyzer. Try and actually push it up to the basket. Holds up to a headwind pretty well. It flipped up, but it's a really nice flight right out of the box. Flips up a little bit on a hyzer, but still has that integrity. All right, we'll throw a forehand down now. Just kind of straight at the basket. Just for all you forehand folks. Wow, that was actually one of the best forehands I've ever thrown. Yeah, this disc forehands real nicely too. So, I mean, other than that one, these ones almost got pin high. This was the backhand one, and then the forehand one's actually even closer. So even in a headwind, these kind of push up here, maybe without the headwind, they would have gotten maybe even a little closer to the basket. 
But yeah, this is just a nice disc for this kind of shot because you've got so many options and it can give you a lot of different flights. Whether you flex it, put it on a forehand, or just kind of even throw it flat, it'll get that little bit of turn and a nice fade every single time. All right, so we've jumped over now to hole three. It's pretty much the exact opposite of the last one. It's 375 and kind of up the hill. And now we've got a tailwind, but we've got like the same sort of obstacle right in the middle. So we've got options to either go right or left. And I'm gonna do both. We'll start with the kind of flat-ish hyzer shot off to the right. Another option that we can do is go off to the left with a forehand if you've got that kind of power. We'll see if I do. Kinda. That's not bad, that's up there. Okay, so the forehand one got almost in circle one. We're at like 40 feet. And then we got a backhand one over there. This thing is great for any forehand, backhand, probably summers. It depends on like what you like for a hand feel. This has got a really nice dome to it. The, our first 12 speed, which is really nice for me. It's kind of the highest speed that I would like to go to just because I might be tall, but I've got pretty short fingers. So the 13 and 14 speeds don't really do it for me, but these 12 speeds are nice to get that nice reliable distance while also being comfortable in the hand. That was an in-depth look at the new Axiom time-lapse, our first 12 speed and the first disc in the Simon line. Great for anybody in different situations, just gotta find the way that it would work for you. In stores now.